and coming to velocity v for velocity v for vector so velocity is a vector so it can be defined as speed of an object in a particular direction so along with the speed means magnitude we are specifying the direction of the object so here the unit of velocity is same as it of the speed it is expressed in meters per second but you have to mention the direction of that particular object also for example one object is moving with a speed of 100 meters per second towards north now coming to the types of velocity there are four types uniform velocity variable velocity average velocity and instantaneous velocity so we'll see in brief about each type of velocity and the difference between them starting with uniform velocity it can be defined as when an object undergoes equal displacement in equal intervals of time it is said to be in the uniform velocity for example so in this picture you can see there is a car it moves to point a point b and point c the distance between each point is 5 kilometers and the time taken for this car to reach city a for example is 5 kilometers reaches within 5 minutes and the time taken to reach the city b from city a is again 5 minutes and it travels a distance of 5 kilometers again within 5 minutes it travels another 5 kilometers this is the meaning of uniform velocity coming to the next type variable velocity so name itself indicates that here velocity varies so there is change in velocity with respect to speed or direction or both so here object is changing speed or direction or both so then it is said as variable velocity for example this school boy is first is traveled 20 meters with a speed of 60 seconds then he turned he changed his direction after that he traveled 20 meters with a speed of 40 seconds so after that again he changed the direction so here he is changing the speed and direction so such type of velocity is called as the variable velocity coming to the next one average velocity it is the total displacement divided by the total time taken by an object for example here you can see a racket traveled a distance of 600 meters towards south and the time taken for this travel this displacement is 300 seconds dividing the 600 meters by 300 seconds we will get average velocity of 2 meters per second coming to instantaneous velocity the velocity of an object at a particular instant of time or at a particular point of its path for example if you say the velocity of car is 30 meters per second after 5 minutes means you are specifying the time so at after 5 minutes of its journey its velocity is some x or when you say the velocity of car at point b is 10 meters per second so when you mention the velocity of the object at a particular time or at a particular point of its journey it is called as the instantaneous velocity coming to acceleration so acceleration can be defined as rate of change of velocity with the time so when velocity change then it is called as acceleration so acceleration is name given when you say any process where the velocity changes since the velocity is speed and direction there are only two ways to accelerate that is change your speed or change the direction or both direction and the speed so in this picture you can see a bird is trying to fly so initially its velocity is less but after some time its velocity increases and also may change the direction so whenever such thing happens change in the speed or change in the direction or both change in the speed and direction it is called as the acceleration 
Example of the positive acceleration is blood flow from capillaries to the heart. A negative acceleration is blood flow from arteries to capillaries. So, when blood flows from the capillaries to heart, speed is more because blood is now entering from the small vessels into the large arteries. Whereas, in case of negative acceleration, blood when is flowing from the arteries to the small capillaries, its velocity decreases. So, when velocity increases, it is called as positive acceleration. When it decreases, the it is called as negative acceleration.